Hello, welcome to the Module 7 Overview video. This module discusses accounting and finance fundamentals. The purpose of this module is to basically give you a foundation of the accounting and finance fundamentals. We are focusing on a small selective area in accounting and finance because accounting and finance has enormous amount of material to be discussed. Accounting. This is the process of identifying, measuring, and reporting financial information of an entity. There's a thing called the accounting equation. Assets equal liabilities plus equity. Assets are resources owned by a company that have future economic value that can be measured in dollars. An asset could be land, building, cash, a future receivable, and liabilities are amounts owned, owed to the lenders and suppliers. Liabilities are essentially what you owe. Equity are amounts owed to the owner and or shareholders. The accounting cycle. There's eight steps to the accounting cycle. Step one is a transaction. A transaction must occur to start the accounting cycle. A transaction for an organization could be buying land. And then in step two, once that transaction occurs, you create a journal entry. So your journal entry for an organization that has purchased land with cash, you would debit land for the amount of the price that you bought the land for and then credit cash for the amount of <clears throat> the amount you paid for the land. Then step three is posting to the account. So once you create a journal entry about the land and the cash, you would post the amount to the land account and credit the account for the cash. Step four is the trial balance. This is putting all your credits and debits together. Step five is the worksheet, which you look at all your, you totalize all your credits and balance, credits and debits, and you see if there's any discrepancies between the debits and credits. And then step six is adjusting in journal entries. So if you made an error or a mathematical <coughs> calculation error, you would want to adjust the journal entries to make sure that your trial balance and worksheet is correct. Step seven is to create your financial statements. And then step eight is the closing process. You would close certain accounts. Every year, the revenue account will have to be closed and expense accounts need to be closed. Accounting statements. There's cash versus accrual. Cash is for basically small businesses or anything that runs on a cash basis. Accrual is used by all the large organizations and corporations that you see in the news. For example, Coca-Cola Corporation uses accrual accounting. And any company that files with the SEC filings that are on the NASDAQ or <clears throat> any other stock exchange they would have to have an income statement, a balance sheet statement, statement of stockholders, equity, statement of cash flows that needed to be audited by a company. So the income statement is the statement that shows the revenues and expenses of an organization for a given period. For usually it's a year and it will start with revenues and it show the cost of sales and continue on further to general administration and it will also have like the income tax expense and it will finally have a final bottom number of net income. The balance sheet statement is a point of time. This will show the assets, the liabilities, and the equity. This basically puts the accounting equation into focus with the balance sheet statement. The statement of stockholders equity is analyzing the equity account of an organization. Statement of cash flows is basically showing the how cash enters and exits the organization. You have three sections in the cash flow statement, operating, investing, and financing. Operating is usually a day-to-day -day activity. Investing is what the company is investing, and financing is the financial structure of the cash basis of the company. Usually in the statement of cash flows, you have the beginning cash flow, beginning cash balance and then at the end there's usually a reconciliation of the ending cash balance using the operating investing financing. Finance. This is a science of the management of money and other assets. Finance is also considered to be an essential part to raise money through the issuance and sale of debt and or equity. 
finance and account finance is used in the accounting function of an organization because usually the finance transactions have to be recorded in as journal entries and are also used in the balance sheet statement showing the debt which is usually a liability of the organization and the equity usually in a large organization would be like shareholders stock and other equity methods basic business organization types you have the sole proprietorship partnerships which can be broken down into more into an LLP, a limited partnership, and an LLP, a limited liability partnership. Then you have the corporation, the LLC, and the S Corp. The corporation is usually all the name brands that you hear to, in the day to day activities of your life, is like such as Walmart, Target, Macy's, any type of large corporation that you know of is a corporation that doesn't use LLCs or S Corps, they are just the traditional corporation. Financial markets, capital markets, stock markets, bond markets, money markets, spot markets, derivative markets, and foreign exchange markets are all markets that organizations use to finance their debt and equity of their firm. Finance also has the concept of time value money. Finance is very fixated in time value money. You may be having to calculate present values, future values, and use that money to determine what your money is worth at a given point of time. It's very essential to know what, how much debt you owe or the interest rates and so forth of financing structures. This is a little small overview of Module 7, Accounting and Finance Fundamentals. Thank you for watching.